In my opinion, Nodeman is still by far the best tool when it comes to automatically restarting the Node application while developing. Let's go ahead and install it in our TypeScript Node.js project. If you consider this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. I am in Node Template 2024 project. I have it configured with a TypeScript. If you would like to learn how to do it, please check out the video setting up Node.js project with a TypeScript and just step-by-step -step guide. Let's go ahead and do npm install. We going to install nodeman and .env CLI. Nodeman is obviously to automatically restart our uh, application while we're developing. .env CLI will load environment variables from .env file. And we're also going to have dash dash save dev flag. So we'll save those dependencies as a dev dependencies. Now let's create nodeman configuration file. We'll do code node, uh, nodeman.json. And let's put the following code in here. We're going to have JSON file with a watch, and we're going to be watching SRC folder. Our extensions will be JS, TS, and JSON. We're going to ignore files, and we're probably not going to have those files, but just in case if we have the test files in a SRC repository, we're going to be ignoring them. And our command that we're going to be executing will be TS node, and we're going to run the file index.ts in src folder and ts node library we installed when we configured typescript let's go ahead and save it now let's go ahead and create a dot env file we'll do code dot env and we're going to put the environment variables called app debug and we'll make it true let's go ahead and save it we can actually copy it and then we're going to create also dot env dot example file so for people who are working with us they can know what variables they can put in there and we can put up debug and we don't necessarily have to have the value we can just remove it if they want to do in debug mode they can enable it now let's go ahead and create index.ts file in src folder so we'll do code src index.ts And also in the SRC file folder, we have utils.cs file that exports function add, and it just adds two numbers. So let's go ahead and do uh, console.log, and we put add, and we put these two numbers, let's say one and two. And we need to import add function from utils. Let's go ahead and do import, we'll do add, from utils. Let's go ahead and save it. Also, let's go ahead and uh, console log um, our env variable, right? So let's do console.log. We're going to say um, debug and we're going to say process.env.up debug. And we can also put just sum right here so we know what we're console logging. Now let's go to package.json and we can add a dev script. And we'll just simply put node one. All right, let's go ahead and save it. And now let's do npm run dev. And as you can see, our sum is three. However, debug is undefined. And the reason for that, that env variables are not loaded from the env file. Let's go ahead and cancel out. In order to load env variables from the env file, we need to use uh, .env CLI that we installed. Let's go ahead and update the dev script with a .env. We'll put .env space dash dash space. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go ahead and run npm run dev. And as you can see, our sum is three and then debug is true. So let's go ahead and test if our application restarts automatically. Let's go ahead and put, for example, three here instead of two. Let's save it. And they have indeed restarted. And now our sum is four and debug is true. 
Thanks for watching our video on how to integrate Nodeman into your Node.js TypeScript project. We hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. As you may have noticed, I have ESLint and Prettier installed in the project as well. In order to learn how to do it, please check out video setting up ESLint and Prettier in Node.js TypeScript project step-by-step -step guide.